people, if you are a design engineer, whether a freelancer or working for any organization, a consulting firm, a government organization or agency, if you do not have a template, that is why you have been wasting a lot of time. That is why you've been unproductive. So why templates? Number one is uh, they help us to, you know, make our work easier, more efficient, saving time. Also, they help us to ensure consistency in our design. So most of my designs look just like what you're seeing on screen uh, because I have a template. And then also it helps you as a design engineer to adapt your template to different project needs. So that means you will be focusing on the specific project needs and not on doing the basic things like, you know, uh, template for points, description, keys, lines, layers, and all of that. And that is why I'm introducing a new template for all our tutorials, for all our tutorials. Uh, this will be our template for our, our YouTube tutorials. So whenever you see this, you just need to know that is a gold mine for you to capitalize on it, watch it consistently, refer it to more people, share, you know, operate from a, a field of uh, abundance for you and for other people. So in the last video, we, we were able to create uh, a, a new drawing. And now I want us to create a drawing from a company template. So how do you ensure consistency? So we are assuming that you just got employed in a new consulting firm, you employed in a new uh, agency, a design office. So the first thing that you need to ask them is, do you have a preset template? So in this case, they will, of course, say yes. If they don't, then you make this your spot to be able to create one for them and you will have added value to that. You'll have given a permanent um, marker. You'll have written your name in the history of that company. So what you do is you just go to the C icon on the top left corner. And to click on that, it will take you to new. So you want to start a new drawing. And to go on that, you create a new drawing, click on create a new drawing. After that, it will the software directs you directly to where the templates have been stored. Templates are, are, are of the file format DWG. And in this case, they are the preset templates that we used previously. And for us now to explore our company's template that see they provide for you is you go to where you've saved it. For mine is in desktop, uh, CV3D, and then direct. The beauty of when the file format is here, uh, you find it, uh, it, it's able to filter the different uh, files that you have. In this case, this is my mentor's uh, template. He gave it to me a couple of years, like four years ago, and I'm still using it even today sometimes here and there, because it's, it's like a souvenir, it's like a blessing. So also you can use that for your company's template. Once you click on it, you open. Once you open then, it will take you directly to, you know, a new, a new workspace. So this is a workspace. And if you look down here at the layout, uh, there are preset layouts that uh, my mentor here and created for his own design. So if you over your cursor here, these are the layouts. I uh, want the sheets to be printed. And then also if you over on top here, you can still get to see the model space and all of this. So that's how you get to um, open any template for your company from your mentor and for your from your consultant and in this case it ensures consistency in your design so my call to you today is get to create get to ask first if your farm has a template if they don't have one then refer to our video number one where you create from the autodesk and then you can be able to customize 
that. Better yet, I know this world is too complex for you to strike it alone. You can, if you have good rapport with one of uh, engineers, you can ask them for their template. Uh, please don't misuse it. Then you can get to modify it because it's always good to start from a benchmark. So that's it. Cheers. Open your template.